Okay, here's a quick video on how to use a stripping knife correctly. Um, I've seen a lot lately about people dulling knives, wanting to dull knives, needing to dull knives. Um, to each their own, I don't dull knives. I actually prefer a knife that's got a little bit of an edge on it. Um, I find that it grips the hair better and makes me work uh, not as hard, especially with a hard-to-pull breed like an Airedale. Um, so when you're pulling, you want to keep the knife perpendicular to the dog. Um, if I show from this angle, the knife should be perpendicular to the dog. You want it straight up and down. Watch when you're pulling, if you're cutting hair, that you're not tilting the knife this way or tilting the knife this way. If you're doing that, you will cut hair. If you're pulling straight back like this from your elbow and not flipping your wrists, you will not cut hair. Doesn't matter how sharp or how dull the knife is. Any knife, even a dull knife, will cut hair. Um, a sharp knife might be more apt to cut hair, but if you're using it correctly, sharp or dull, it is not going to cut hair. So again, let me see if I can get it from this side so you can see as I'm going. So again, the knife should be perpendicular. When you pull, it should be this way. See how the knife stays perpendicular? If you're tilting the knife at all this way or at all this way, you're going to cut hair. The knife should be straight up and down. You can see this is not cutting any hair. This is a special one, number four. It's one of the coarse knives. As you can see, none of this hair is cut. This is all just pulled out. So again, your grip on the knife and keeping the knife in a perpendicular position to the dog's body, no matter where you're working at. So as you're going down the side, again, you want to keep it perpendicular. Keep the knife perpendicular to the dog's body. Don't tilt this way. Don't tilt this way. You will cut hair. I don't ever dull knives. Um, some do, some don't. Uh, there's kind of two camps on that. I used to dull knives, and then I found that I didn't need to dull knives. If you use them correctly, they will not cut hair. So again, you can see that this knife is staying perpendicular to the dog. And you can see none of this hair is cut. This is all pulled hair. One of the ways to tell if you're cutting hair when you're pulling is to take the knife and take a pull, then look at it under your thumb. You should have the same amount of hair under your thumb as you do above the knife. Same amount of hair, you can see there's nothing cut. If you have a wad of hair under your thumb and 10 or 15 or less hairs under, you know, what you've underneath your thumb, below that line, you're cutting hair. So it should be the same amount of hair under your thumb as it is above, either ways. You can see the roots of those hairs. So uh, just a quick video on showing uh, how not to cut hair.